Hey, it's Levi with HenleysHappyTrails.com, and I am doing another All Stays video. Uh, now, previously I have done uh, three of them. Uh, one video, I'm going to link to all three of those videos in the description. Uh, there's also, uh, I'm going to make a playlist of all of the All Stays videos um, to uh, make it easy for you to go back and watch those. Um, since I made those three videos, one of them just talks about all stays, there's one that talks about using Google Maps, and there's one that combines the two, using Google Maps and all stays. Um, since I made those videos in 2016, uh, all stays has been updated a little bit in how the site works. Uh, so what I want to do is uh, use this video to kind of, I'm going to be repeating a little bit of the stuff, uh, but for the most part I just want to showcase um, what's different because uh, the updates have made it easier to use allstays.com. So currently we're at henleyshappytrails.com, our website, and we're going to go to allstays. If you have not uh, previously signed up for it, obviously you would click the sign up button. Um, either uh, any one of these uh, descriptions of things that allstays offers will give you more information about it, um, and any of the yellow join now buttons will take you to where you can subscribe to all stays now I will say uh, ahead of time that in the description of this video there's a link that says uh, sign up to all stays and I give a, a link there uh, that is an affiliate link so we get credit if you use that link if you're reading this uh, if you're watching this video on henleyshappytrails.com somewhere in the article there will be also be a link to all stays if you use that then we get credit if you decide to sign up it is an affiliate link um, so that being said i'm going to go ahead and sign in a couple of things i didn't talk about previously are these two pdfs if you uh, ever don't have internet access knowing uh, what walmarts and truck stops are around if you decide to stop at those locations for the night, um, it can be convenient to have a list of uh, all the Walmarts and truck stops uh, in the U.S. that you can uh, use. So uh, they provided some PDFs. By clicking on those, it will download uh, those PDFs. And typically when you download something, it will go into your downloads folder. Um, I've downloaded a couple of these already, as you can see. But if I click on the Walmart uh, PDF, it's going to show me all of the states and some uh, ter some places in uh, Can Canada. Um, if I click any one of these states, it's going to take me to the bottom of the list. So I, I clicked uh, Colorado, it's going to show me the bottom of Colorado so I can scroll up to see the other Walmart. So as long as I, I can have no internet access, and as long as I have a map and I know where I am, headed towards, um, I can use this list to find Walmarts and use the phone numbers to call for and see if they allow overnight parking. Now if you do happen to have internet, these links actually work from the PDF, the website, view it on the map. Um, this will go to, uh, I think, Google Maps um, and so on. Uh, the truck stop PDF is exactly the same thing as the Walmart one, uh, with the exception of it gives truck stops with the phone numbers, and it also gives a brief description of what that truck stop offers. So same thing, if you don't have internet, and you need to either find a Walmart, or you need to find uh, the nearest uh, truck stop that's coming up, these lists can be really convenient. You can download those once you log into Allstays. Uh, the other interesting thing that I had not talked about previously is the elevation tool. Now when I click on that, it gives me a map of the U.S. and anywhere I click, uh, it will give me the elevation of that location. That works not just in the U.S., it'll work in Canada, um, it'll even work in Mexico or Brazil. Um, All States doesn't have stuff in Mexico or Brazil, but um, anywhere you click on the map, it will give you the elevation. Uh, that comes in handy for a couple of reasons. Say, for example, I was traveling through Colorado, uh, especially if I was traveling from east to west, the elevation is going to change drastically as I go through. Uh, and things like generators, which run with carburetors, need to be adjusted or they won't run efficiently at different elevations. A lot of them even have a dial that you can set the elevation on it. 
So knowing what the elevation is, where you are, and you can zoom in on that map and get a, a much more accurate uh, elevation depending upon the road that you're at, uh, can be really helpful and convenient. Uh, the second reason that that's helpful is if you're traveling to a high elevation place for a long time. Uh, any place really above 7,000 feet um, can affect you uh, medically. Say, for example, if you uh, have diabetes and you use and you monitor your blood sugar, uh, some glucose meters can have inaccurate results at high elevations. Um, if you have any, basically any circulatory issues, if you ever had heart trouble, COPD, uh, lung disease, um, pneumonia, sleep apnea, any of those things, um, you can be affected uh, physically. Uh, if you are in high elevations for a period of time. Uh, so if you have high blood pressure, low blood pressure, that actually can be affected. So if you're going to be in those locations, you can use this tool to figure out exactly what elevations you'll be at on your trip. And uh, it's advised that you contact your doctor to make sure that that's something that you should be handling for X period of time uh, that might alter what your trip route is, for example. So that's a, a interesting tool. Uh, there's also a latitude longitude tool, but I generally will use Google Maps for that, so I don't use it often. But I'm going to go ahead and click the Explore All Stays Pro. Now, in the previous two videos, I've gone over basically what you can do with All Stays and how All Stays helps tr plan a trip. Um, and uh, added a little extra tidbit, the uh, Ghost Towns map is actually kind of cool. If you're interested in seeing Ghost Towns in the United States, they've actually put together a list of them. Some of them actually have buildings built over top of them. Some of them have ruins. Some of them are even underwater. So uh, that's a little cool added feature. But anyway, as I was saying, the uh, previous videos talk about in a little bit more detail than I'm going to go in about using the app. But if I click on that uh, Camp RV Pro Everything here, uh, you'll notice this map looks different than my previous videos in that there's all this purple stuff. Now previously, if you were planning a trip from Nebraska to Kansas to Oklahoma, you would have to go up here and you would have to select Nebraska and it would only show you points in Nebraska and then once you plan the trip down to Kansas you would have to reselect the state into Kansas and it would only show you if you veered off from that it wouldn't populate anything. Uh, with this new update everything is updated live so all this purple stuff is uh, groups of interest and as you zoom in it narrows down. Um, so if I'm going to be in, say for example, uh, going to be in Wichita, if I hover over that thing, there's 46 uh, points with everything that I have now. If I click on that, I can see uh, everything. Now if I move from that location, it's going to repopulate that. You can see down here. If I move out of the state of Kansas, there's the state line there, it's going to start populating things once I get to Colorado. So that's a new feature and it makes things really convenient because you don't have to go up here and keep switching the state every time you uh, go over state lines. The other thing that's new is the dashboard here. Um, when I am look, say for example I'm planning a trip from Wichita to Oklahoma City, I don't necessarily need to see all of this stuff. Um, let's say, for example, I plan on staying at uh, Walmarts and truck stops on the way down. I can click this dashboard and choose uh, on a broad category of what I want to see. Say, for example, I said truck everything. It's going to show me all of the truck stops on the way down and all of the uh, uh, parking areas for overnight parking. It'll also show Walmarts, places that uh, you could stop overnight. It's going to show you pilots, flying J's, all of the, the major truck stops and independent ones. Uh, let's say I didn't want any of that stuff and I just want to see campgrounds. Well then I would choose camping maps only and then it's only going to show me, let me get up here out of the middle of nowhere, it's only going to show me campgrounds in the area. Um, 
so each one of these things does that. Truck everything. If I just want to stop at rest stops, there's a, a thing for that. So you can kind of use that to easily narrow down what you're looking for. And that's different from uh, previous. So that's an update. And uh, the other thing I've noticed is last time when I was doing it, you kind of had to select uh, the, the low clearance in the filters for them to really show up. Um, I don't know if that was a glitch then, but um, if I remember correctly, um, now the low clearance bridges uh, show automatically. Um, the only thing that I'm not sure if it populates, let me go over here to the west coast where I would see it, is the, okay, it populates that too. Um, you still have, uh, now road grades are automatically shown, you don't have to put a, a filter for that. Um, which was one of the big selling points for me on all stays. You can see road grades, you can see low bridge clearance. Uh, you're going to run into more road grades on the west coast, you'll run into more low bridges on the east coast. Um, so that is pretty much the uh, additions uh, from last time. Now the other videos that I did, like I said, you can see um, I go into all of these filters in more depth. Uh, so it is um, this is all stays on a smartphone. I'm on my uh, Android phone right now. I don't have an iPhone, um, but considering that uh, this is a browser app, um, or, or it's a, a web app, uh, which means that um, it runs in the browser of the device, uh, it should be cross-platform. Um, I didn't download anything from uh, the Play Store or the App Store. Uh, I know that Allstays does have some uh, apps that you can download separately for uh, iPhones and things for various different, uh, and it, it kind of subjects it out uh, to different categories. But um, to use Allstays Pro, you don't require downloading uh, an app. You can use it right in your browser, um, whatever uh, browser your phone uses. And I'm going to go ahead and sign in here uh, so far everything is the same you get uh, everything's kind of squished and because there's uh, you have some small, smaller real estate but I'm gonna go ahead and go in here to uh, the all state all stays pro and then hit that uh, everything this looks exactly the same as on a PC now here's where it gets um, different you'll notice the uh, the dashboard that I described on the PC is exactly the same you can choose uh, what type of map and all of these filters is the same um, choosing the uh, satellite view or the enhanced map or traffic and so on all of that's the same you still have a search function over here but there's a problem uh, this filter thing is in your way um, to get it out of the way there is this hide all up here in the top right corner and if I tap that it is going to show let me get that out of the way um, it's gonna take that away so I can show all hide all once I hide it I just use my finger just like dragging around Google Maps and I can drag right around um, using two fingers I can expand the map and once I get down close enough it's gonna show me all the points of interest um, so on my, and this is on my cell phone with my browser, I'm not, I don't require any apps, uh, extra apps or anything. I simply sign into all stays and uh, use their map thing. If I want to add uh, a filter to it, let's say I was looking for camping and I wanted um, amenities. I wanted something that had a pool. I can choose, once I choose what I want in here, uh, then I just go hide all, and now the map will update to only show me RV parks of the pool. Once again, you can click on those, or tap on it actually, and it shows you all the same information that it would on a PC. So that's one nice thing uh, about uh, using the web version of Allstays or just signing up to Allstays Pro and logging in like that, uh, it looks pretty much exactly the same on my cell phone as it does on the PC.
Now, a minor note, if you did um, sign up for Allstays at any time, if you have questions, a uh, couple of things, they Allstays is pretty good about getting back to you. So simply emailing Allstays down here um, using that email address is a good way to get a hold of Allstays. Uh, next, they do have a help section uh, down here. All of these uh, buttons on the bottom well, actually, uh, let's say you wanted to know how to find propane. If you hit that, it gives you an explanation. Uh, not only instructions, but it gives you visual pictures on what to do to filter for propane and how to use the website. Um, and there's also frequently asked questions based on that. So if you do sign up and you're having trouble using it, uh, I would I would try emailing them. First, um, if you can't, if you've already checked the help and that question isn't there, um, once again, uh, I have done three other videos pertaining to all stays. Uh, uh, so, at the end of this video, there will be a little um, uh, a little video preview and that'll actually go to the playlist for all stays. So, if you're interested in that, you can watch all of those. Um, next thing is, uh, once again, in the description below this video, there is a link to Allstays. That is an affiliate link, so if you use that and you sign up, we get credit for it. Uh, so please do that, and uh, it helps uh, support our channel. And if you liked this video, and you like our channel, uh, not only click the like button on it, but uh, there's a little uh, circle that popped up, uh, and if you could click uh, if you roll over that circle it says subscribe if you could subscribe to our channel we would greatly appreciate it um, we're trying to uh, build that up at this moment in time so uh, that would really help us out if you have any questions about this video or questions in general um, you can use the contact us on our blog henleyshappytrails.com if you want to do that privately uh, or if you want to leave a comment in the section below this video we will get back to them as quickly as we can so I hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you, and happy trails.